All right, so you came back in, remember, turn the boat into the wind, uh, slow it down, take your dagger board out, step off, you're gonna put your rudder up and you're gonna bring it back to the beach and you really want it into the wind. You can't stress this enough. One reason is because when you take the sail down, you don't want it out over the water. You wanna try and keep the sail dry when it comes down. All right, so we're gonna derig in the opposite order. We've already taken our center board out, so now we're gonna take off our rudder. So there's the pintle, you just push down, give it a little shake, and it should come right out. Now we're going to take off our main sheet. So we're going to stop at our stopper nut. We're going to pull it through the pulleys. Now if you get sand on it, you want to make sure you get that off before it gets stowed. So I'm going to uncleat this from the bridle. Pull this in, but I did get sand on it. So I'm going to go ahead and coil it. And then I'm just going to give it a good swish in the water. Get that sand off. All right. You can just stow this uh, in the boat. Recommend putting it back in the cubby that's towards the stern. And that'll keep it off the floor. Next, we're going to lower the sail. And when you lower the sail, your goal is to get the sail down without hurting anyone and keep it dry. So you always want to have a good hold of this halyard before you uncleat it. If you just uncleat it, it's going to come down. So we're going to hold on to the halyard. We're going to uncleat it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it through the fair lead. Now, if there's someone else here, I recommend you ask for a little bit of help. But if you're by yourself, here's how you take the sail down without it getting wet. You're going to come back. Got my halyard. And I'm slowly just going to lower it down and I'm going to gather the sail as I go. Be careful you don't just drop it because that boom will, upper boom will come down on you. able to pull my halyard out. Now once you pull that mast out, that gooseneck is going to free up the sail, right? Because it's no longer holding it. So we want to be really careful that our, slide, our sail doesn't slide off the boat and pull up on the mast. I'm going to lay this across to make sure I have everything all gathered up and I'm going to take it over to the grass to put it away properly. All right, so we've got our sail laid out and we're gonna put it away. It's very important that you put the sail away properly or it can damage the sail. So one, never put the sails away wet. If they're wet, lay them out, let them dry. If you can't stay around, go ahead and put it in the shop, let the facility manager know. If your sail's dry and clean, ready to go, we're gonna lay it out and we're going to fold it in half, kind of like a paper airplane. It's important that you don't leave the mast attached or the main sheet or anything else. You want everything unhooked from the uh, sail and the, mat and the boom. You're just gonna fold it in half again, and then again as well. Our goal is to gently roll it and use the halyard to hold it to the two spars. We're not trying to cinch it down really tight. We're just trying to bundle it so we can put it away properly. So it helps to take the halyard and you can pivot around the gooseneck. And then as you go down, you're going to, at a couple points along the way, you're just gonna do a half hitch. So I'm basically taking this line, bringing it underneath, but instead of coming up over here, I'm gonna come up on this side. So I trap the line. And give it a little, little tug. But we also have to remember when you're doing this, you need to put your mast in. I often forget this. So, the mast needs to be aligned with the spars. There we go. And this helps bundle it all together. All right. We've got our half hitch. It's going to come down. We're going to make sure everything's aligned and bundled. Do another half hitch. Get one more. 
Again, the goal is to sort of hold everything together so it can be put away. And all we're gonna do here is something really simple. It could be as simple as a slip knot or a half hitch, a couple half hitches to hold together. Never, never roll the sail around the spars. That will definitely damage it. So after it's done, if you got it from the sunfish rack, you would put it back in the tube. If it was on the club boat, put it back on the club boat. So this is the sail tubes that are on the sunfish rack. The sunfish on the sunfish rack are reserved for sailing school use only. However, if you are using a club boat and you don't have a sail on the club boat, you can come and take a sail off of this rack because that means someone put it away on this rack rather than the club boat. It's easier to put the cover on the club boat if it doesn't have a sail on it. So if you're using a club sunfish, leave the equipment on the boat, the float, rudder, dagger board, and main sheet. You can leave the sail in the tube, but the rest of the equipment needs to be on the boat. If you're using the sailing school boats, the equipment goes in the shed. After you've taken the boat out, remember to clean out any water from the cockpit and sand, put the cover on, and store it properly in the back lot.